Welcome to Core Essentials. My name is Mike Sylvester, founder of Core Essentials, a stability-based strength training program that fuses together the many disciplines of fitness, including yoga, Pilates, physical therapy, and traditional strength training. The concept is simple. Build a stable base before you build muscle. The benefits are numerous. Injury prevention, improved balance, and core stability, agility, cardiovascular endurance, muscular definition, and stabilization that allows flexibility, and strength that has a purpose, all in just 30 minutes. Welcome to Core Essentials. My name is Mike Sylvester, and today I'm going to start the show talking about a two-ounce drink that is gaining astronomical publicity. Let's take a look at the ad we are constantly bombarded with on television. There are a lot of ways to get past that 2.30 feel. Get another cup of coffee. A little cold water on the face. More coffee. Whatever that is. Or take one five-hour energy. People choose five-hour energy over six million times per week. It's quick, effective, and made to help hardworking people like you get past their 2.30. We're happy about or 3.30. Or 4.30. Five-hour energy. Hours of energy now. No 2.30 feeling later. Are the claims of this product true? Before I answer that, let's talk numbers first. Sales of the two to three ounce shots soared to $544 million in 2008, double those of the previous year, according to Information Resources, a Chicago-based market research firm. In fact, energy shots are the fastest growing segment of the $4.6 billion energy drink market, according to the market research firm Mintel. Living Essentials pioneered energy shots in 2004 with 5-Hour Energy, which still holds more than 75% of the market, says Information Resources. Industry heavyweights such as Red Bull, Monster Energy, and Coca-Cola have since introduced their own energy shots. Their ingredients vary, but most contain caffeine, B vitamins, and taurine, which is an amino acid found in food from animal sources, as well as flavoring and artificial sweeteners. The sugar-free shots are not only portable, but lower in calories than most energy drinks. The two ounce, five hour energy shot, which is artificially sweetened, has four calories. A regular eight ounce Red Bull energy drink, by comparison, has 100 calories, while a sugar-free Red Bull has only 10 calories. Now, what is the truth regarding this product? The shots tend to have about as much caffeine as regular energy drinks, and it's the caffeine that provides most of the kick, experts say. Because of that, nutritionists urge caution, especially for those who also drink coffee or other caffeine-containing drinks. By the way, chocolate has caffeine in it. According to Jim White, registered dietitian and national spokesperson for the American Dietetic Association, he says, I'm seeing a lot of combinations, coffee, five-hour energy drink, green teas, and if you add up all the mega doses of caffeine during the day, it can cause some problems. Specifically, too much caffeine can cause nervousness, trouble sleeping, nausea, vomiting, rapid heartbeats, and higher blood pressure. Many makers of energy shots say children and those who are pregnant, nursing, or sensitive to caffeine should avoid the beverages. 5-Hour Energy advises no more than two bottles a day. Energy shot makers are not required to disclose their product's caffeine content, although a group of scientists has petitioned the FDA to require that this information be listed on labels. 5-Hour Energy says only that one of its regular shots contain about the same amount of caffeine as a cup of the leading premium coffee which would work out to 180 milligrams for an 8-ounce cup at Starbucks. 5-Hour Energy also comes in decaf and extra strength. Coke's NOS Power Shot has 125 milligrams of caffeine, and Rockstar Energy Shot has 200 milligrams. By comparison, a 12-ounce can of Coke contains 35 milligrams of caffeine. Some Energy Shots also contain guarana, a plant that produces caffeine. Caffeine in doses of 200 or 300 milligrams a day is moderate and fine, but if you're starting to get way over that, I would cut back, says Chris Rosenblum, 
registered dietitian and PhD, a professor at Georgia State University in Atlanta. Some people drink energy shots to try to stay sober or sober up after drinking alcohol so they can drive home. Being a more alert drunk isn't any safer than being a drunk, but that seems to be a growing use in some of my younger patients, says Brent Bauer, MD, director of the Complementary and Integrative Medicine Program at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. A lot of these products contain multiple, multiple amounts of ingredients such as taurine and triosine and phenylalanine, of course caffeine and guarana. There's not enough research on how they're going to react together, especially down the road. Experts say drinkers may get some energy benefits from taurine, but not from high doses of B vitamins. 5-Hour Energy, for example, claims to provide more than 8,000% of the daily recommended intake for B12, which is found in animal products and helps form red blood cells, and 2,000% of the recommended intake of B6. Vitamin B6 also found in animal products as well as beans, whole grains, and fortified cereals and breads helps boost the immune system and produce red blood cells. None of them are going to boost energy unless you're B deficient, experts say. In general, B vitamins aren't toxic in large amounts, Rosenblum says. They're water soluble, which means they pass out of the body in urine, but high doses of B6 can cause nerve damage, tingling and numbness in the arms and legs. The company warns that those who are sensitive to vitamin B3 may experience a niacin flush that involves a brief reddening of the skin and a hot prickly feeling. One shot of five hour energy contains 150% of the recommended daily intake of niacin, which is found in animal products, beans, and fortified cereals, as well as breads, and helps the body convert food to energy. Instead of reaching for an energy shot, Next time, you need to pick me up at that 2.30 hour. Try looking at what's behind that tiredness, experts say. If you took it once or twice a year because you wanted to be more alert for an exam, that's different than if you're taking it two or three times a day. If you need something chronically, then there's something wrong. That's your body telling you to change something, whether it's your diet, your exercise, your stress level, your sleep habits. If you want to boost energy levels naturally, here are some suggestions from a registered dietitian. Eat several small meals throughout the day rather than large ones. Avoid large amounts of sugar and fat. Don't skip meals, especially breakfast. Take a quick exercise break, such as short walk. Exercise regularly. Consider paced breathing, which can improve the heart rate and boost relaxation, or even meditating for a short time. Reduce stress, get enough sleep, and that's my take on the five-hour energy shot. Remember, the information given on this show is not intended as medical advice. Please consult with a healthcare practitioner before you make any changes in your dietary habits.